Hi, this is Ashley back with Loomfinity. Today I'm going to show you how to make Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And in order to create her, you will need about 80 brown bands, um, 50 skin bands, 18 white bands, 70 blue bands. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Ocean Blue and 10 red bands. You will also need about um, two of these white um, pony beads. I'm using those for the eyes. And if you don't have those, you can create the eyes with the loops, creating four loops on your hook. So if you want to grab your supplies, we can go ahead and get started. So the first part that we are going to create is the braid for her hair. I've already created one of those. So I'm going to show you how to make one and then you can pause the video to make another one. And we'll be using single brown bands in order to do that. You're going to start on the top of your loom and your loom should be in the squared configuration with a single band coming from the top left peg to the center second peg. And you want to take another single band from the center first to the left second so you're creating an X pattern. We're then going from the second left to the center third and from the center second to the left third. And we're going to keep repeating this process. So the left third to the center fourth and the center third to the left fourth. The left fourth to the center fifth, center fourth to the left fifth. Left fifth to the center sixth and center fifth to the left sixth. And then the left sixth to the center seventh, center sixth to the left seventh, left seventh to the center eighth, left or center seventh to the left eighth and then we're going from the left eighth to the center ninth and then for this last one here we want to go from the center eighth to the center ninth so this last one here creates a V then taking a single band you're going from that same center peg straight out to your left and you want to repeat that straight out to the right. And then we're just bringing single bands straight down to the bottom of the loom on each peg. We're going to do that in the center row. And also on the right side. We're then going to cap off the bottom with a single brown band, just creating the two loops at the end of each peg. And this is what you should have. Now that our bands are in place, we can begin looping. So we want to go in under our capping band and you want to hold that down since it's only a double loop. And we're going to bring this up and we're going to go ahead and loop up on the right side and we're going to bring this one over to the center stopping there we're going to repeat the same thing on the left so hold down your capping band and bringing the left into the center and then going in through this capping band We're going to go in through all of these bands, grabbing our first single brown band and bringing it forward, and grabbing the next one and bringing it over to the left. Now the pattern for looming up is you always want to grab the band first that's underneath. So if you look here, 
this is the top band, this is the bottom band, so I'm going to loom from the center first. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this band and bring it onto itself. Now I can go in on this left side, now that it has a band coming across it, and bring it over to the center. And you want to repeat that same process all the way up, always going from underneath because you want a band to come over the top to give it that braided look. And once you're loomed all the way to the top, go ahead and grab a holding hook. And we're going to grab the top off both pegs. And then we'll go ahead and pull this off the loom. And that gives you the braid attachment for her hair. So go ahead and pause the video. If you need to, rewind and make a second one. And we can continue on from there. The next part we're going to create is her arm. And you can leave your loom in the square configuration. And we're starting from the top with two white bands on the left coming down once. And we're going to do that again, two white bands coming down again. And then switching over to our skin colored bands, we're going to come down three times with two skin colored bands. And you're then going to cap off the bottom, creating three loops. And we'll go ahead and loop that up. Grab your hook and pull it off. And that gives you her arms. So go ahead if you need to, pause the video, make a second arm, and we can continue on from there. The next little piece we're going to create is the top attachments for her jumper. And that's a really easy little piece. I've made one. I'll show you how to make one. And then you'll just need to pause the video to make your second one. And you'll be using single blue bands coming down the loom three times with a single blue band. And we're going to create three loops to cap it off. And loop it up to the top. And then remove it and set that aside for later. Once you've created the second one, we can go ahead and move on to the foot. And in order to create the foot, you're going to start at the top of the loom with two skin bands and you're going to come down twice with two bands then moving on to two blue we will then use some red so coming down the next peg you're going to take a single red and we're going to double it and then coming down with two red bands and then taking another single red and double it coming down one more time and we're going to cap off creating four loops. So one, two, three, four. And we'll go ahead and loop that up. Grab a holding hook and remove that and set it aside for later. So go ahead and pause the video, make a second leg, and then we can go ahead and move on to the main part of the body. To, um, the primary layout, and in order to do that, we want to switch back to our staggered configuration. So you want to pop your middle pegs off the loom, move them up one, and put them back so that you get your triangle formation. And we are going to be starting at the top of the loom, and through her body I will be using two bands unless I specify otherwise. You're going to take two brown bands coming from the center up peg out and to the left. Do the same thing going to the right. 
then coming down once with two brown bands on the left, once in the center, and once on the right. Taking two more brown bands from the center second peg, coming out at an angle to the second left peg, and do the same thing from the center second to the right second. We're now going to switch over to our skin bands. You're going to come down twice on the left hand side with two skin colored bands. And repeat that on the right side. And then go ahead and bring it into the center for the chin peg. And then we'll go ahead and fill in the center of her face. And then coming off the chin peg for the neck, we'll be using three skin colored bands coming down once. We're then going to move into the body and we'll be switching over using some white, taking two white bands from the bottom of the neck, coming out to the left with two white. Repeat that going off to the right hand side as well, and two coming down the center. Now before we can continue on with the body, we need to attach our jumper pieces. If we attach them later, they won't actually secure up around the top of her shoulder like this where they should go. So you're going to grab those pieces and you're just going to place one on your right hand shoulder peg. Just kind of stick it up out of the way and do that on the other side as well. And once you've done that we can go ahead and continue. So taking two more white bands coming down the left hand side once and again two more bands with white on the right. And we're now going to switch over to the blue. And we're going to come down the left hand side five times with two blue bands. And repeat that on the right. And then we're going to repeat that in the center as well. And then we're going to take two blue bands from the center peg coming out at an angle to the left and two coming out to the right. And then we're going to finish off the bottom with our skin bands. So taking two skin colored bands coming down to the end of the loom on the left and two on the right. Now we also need to create an overlay which gives you the bulge on the side of her dress. So you're going to be using blue bands for that. And taking two blue bands, you're starting on the sixth peg from the bottom with two blue bands and you're just going to put them right on top of the existing bands and we're going to come down four times total doing that with two blue bands.
and we're going to repeat that process on the right hand side. So again on the sixth peg from the bottom coming down with the two blue bands. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and put on some of our attachment pieces. So grabbing your arms, we're going to place these onto the shoulder pegs. The same pegs that we put the top parts of her jumper. Then we can attach the feet. Those go on the very bottom. We can also do the eyes, so grabbing a single skin band, I'm going to grab my beads, pinch the band and feed that through the center of the beads. And those will be placed on the second peg from the bottom. And then we're going to separate the eyes go in between grabbing one of the bands and pulling it around the third center peg. We can also grab our hair pieces. We're going to attach those on the two, the second peg from the bottom on each side. And then we also need to create her nose. So you're going to take a single skin band. You're going to create three loops. So one, two, and then for the last loop, I like to do a double twist. So you twist the band one time and then just let it twist again and then hook it on to the hook. It gives it more of a neat appearance here. We're going to pull that onto a single doubled skin colored band. And pinch that together. And then we're going to pull that onto a single band. And that will go from the third peg from the top straight across. just like that. Now we need to place some of our crossover bands. So taking a single skin band going right beneath the nose, you're going to create a triangle with a single band. Then moving on to blue, you're going to take a single blue band and we're going to double it and this will go right below the arms in the triangle formation. The next one is a single triple. And this is the one that I tend to break the bands a couple times before I can get it on. So if you can't do a single triple, you're welcome to do it as a single double. Um, but the best way to do it is to stretch the band out. On the peg here, create three loops, just like that. Take your hook, and we're going to stretch it across. And then grab your center and bring it up to create the triangle. The next triangle we create will be a single blue, just creating a single triangle. And again, another single. And another single. Now that we have everything in place, we can go ahead and begin looping. So we're going to go into the bottom, grabbing the bottom of the feet, grabbing those two bands and bringing them up. We want to repeat that on the other side as well. Now the first part that we're going to loom is the um, top layer that we created. So you want to go in through the feet, the band you brought up, grabbing the first two bands and bringing those forward. We're going to go in and you want to go through the crossover band, grabbing those first two blue bands. Oh, look at that, my band broke and I wasn't even touching it. Let's try this again. Nope. 
Just to save face for this tutorial, I'm gonna do a single double. So we're not here all day waiting for me to get a triple band. Okay, so down here going through the crossover bands, grabbing the first two blue and bringing those up. The next one, bringing those two up and then this, the next two up. At this point, we want to actually remove these from the hook. So you're gonna go right above that first loop grabbing the bands because we want the crossover bands to stay in place and bringing them onto the outside of the peg. Repeat that again and again here. The top one we want to leave in place and we're going to repeat the same steps over here. So grabbing the first two bands and bringing those up. You just want to be sure that you're going through the crossover band, but you're only grabbing the top two bands. We don't want to pull any of the bottom ones with us. Now, if pulling them from the top here, pulling them over from just the top section was too hard, the other way to go is, if you can see this, you can pull the first two over using the bottom and then grab the next two and pull them over. But if you grab from the top part of the peg, generally you're grabbing them all and it should not be a problem. Once we have done that, we're gonna go back down here, grabbing the first two bands and bringing them onto the center peg. We're gonna do that on both sides. And now we can go ahead and loop straight up the center. We're going to stop at the bottom of the neck. Now we're going to go down in here, grabbing the bottom two blue and bringing those forward. And we want to go ahead and loop up to where the blue and the white meet. Don't loop the white yet. Now when you get here, we need to attach this piece. And the best way to do this, you're going to go in and grab the triple capping band we created. You want to grab all three pieces. You're going to bring this up and over so you're probably easier to go through the back of it. We're going to attach it to this peg. Now I want to be able to loop the white here so the best way to do this is to move this down over on the side of the arm, go in, grabbing the bottom two white and bringing those forward. I'm gonna repeat that process here. Make sure you're going through all of the bands, grabbing the bottom two white and bringing those forward. We can then pull this back up and over that peg. We're gonna repeat that process on the left side. Okay, we want to stop there. We're going to pull this up, finding our triple bands. I'm going to go through the back, and bring it over and attach it to this peg. And I'm then going to pull these just to the outside around by the arm. Go in, grab my two white bands and bring those forward going in through all of the bands here and bringing those up. I can then move this back up and over. Now we can go in through all of these bands, grabbing the bottom three skin bands, bringing those up, grabbing the first two in the chin, bringing them forward. And at this point, we can go ahead and loom straight up to the second center peg. When you go through the nose, go ahead and pull the nose through that center between the bands. Going back through the chin, grabbing my next two bands and going to the left. My next two are going to the right. 
and I'm going to loom up my right hand side. When I get to the hair piece, my first two bands should be going to the center. So you're going to go through all of the bands here, grabbing the first two and bringing those to the center peg. I then going back in, grabbing the next two and bringing those up and going all the way to the top. And I'm going to repeat that process over here. Going in, grabbing my first two brown bands, bringing those to the center. My next two go up. And now going in here and grabbing the two brown bands and bringing those up to the center. Once I've done that, we're going to go ahead and create a slip knot. And I'm going to grab a hook and remove her from the loom. This is what you, she should look like. Go ahead and pull her arms out and her legs and feet down. This would be the point where you can hide her top slip knot back here. If you wanted to take the hook through the back top single double red band and pull out, that would um, bend her feet to give her the shoe look. Now we also need to attach some bows to her, or a bow to her hair, and the easiest way to do that is on the loom. You're going to take a single blue band on the bottom, bring it down once, I'm then taking another single and dropping it onto that center peg. I'm going to go underneath, so underneath through here, grabbing the bottom. I'm going to pull it up and over. Now I want to grab this bottom band and lift it over the top. And you can go ahead and just pull this tight like this. And then you're going to take this piece on the bottom of her hair here, right where the braid ends, and you're going to wrap it as many times as you want to wrap it so that it looks more like a hair tie. Okay, and then just fix the bow so that it's facing forward. So you would repeat that again for the other piece of hair so that she has a bow on the end of each of her hair pieces. And then you would also want to take your Sharpie, which I miraculously have today, and we're going to push the eyes forward, drawing on the pupils. Just like that. And that is how you create Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Don't forget to subscribe um, so that you can receive updates when new videos become available. I hope you like her.